Across from my home in Spokane, there was a small swampy area, and I would go down there and pick up bugs and look at them. And so I was, uh, got very, very good at identifying bugs, what they would look like when they got older from larva uh, to a winged or a beetle. Um, and uh, so I spent a summer uh, with a young man, Frank Mangles, who was eccentric, really eccentric, in Eureka, Montana. And uh, from that point on, I realized the importance of the environment. It was interesting, when, both when I was the executive on the county council, I never lost the belief. And so I used to talk, we used to talk about how this region was going to grow. And my issue was the region was going to grow. There was a number of reasons. We had major companies moving in here. Uh, we had economic growth. And we didn't have policies that would guide us in a world of the future. And I used to say that. People would say, well, you know, the, the future is unpredictable. I said, no, it is not. We actually know what's going to happen in large areas of King County. And we have to go out and protect those areas first. So let's go out and buy forests. And people mock me for my uh, issues of protecting forests. And I said, no, they are the lungs. We need them. We need streams because we can't meet our obligations to the Native American community without having streams that can actually move salmon from one place back into Puget Sound and have them return. And so I said, and salmon need to eat and that is, and they eat bugs. And so I don't want to all of a sudden say, let's use pesticides on a wide uh, spread basis because whether it was the county applying them or individual homeowners, that would have consequences too. So one thing led to another. But where I never lost Eureka, Montana, and I never lost my fascination with bugs and plants, and all of a sudden you had climate change, and everything written about climate change change said it was going to alter everything that we knew about our environment and that would continue unabated and I realized all my life and probably most of the lives of my children that we were going to be in an environment that we had never seen. The idea was to have policies in place that were allowing us to move into that not quickly and smartly and to trust science and that was my key. You had to trust science. But the other thing was not to make these things formidable. We wanted people to be on the trails and to look at nature in real terms. And so we, I remember uh, talking to the railroad saying, has anybody bought your land? And they said, no, do you want to buy it? Because we don't want any liability. I went after those railroad lands. We had those, they, they were no, no longer in use, but they made effective trails. But we made sure they were in areas next to lakes next to streams and in forested areas and into ag areas. So we wanted people to realize the environmental diversity that this uh, county offered and why we wanted them to preserve it. And, I, and those were battles. I mean, none of these things were easy. It was not a, a kind period in my political career. I still, uh, sometimes when I look uh, from this viewpoint, uh, I both smile at it and sometimes you get a, you know, a little shock of pain over what it personally cost you, how it felt when you went home, how it felt when you went back to the council, and then when it became county executive, how it felt then. The, um, and we didn't have a whole lot of support. The newspapers at that time were not sympathetic to climate change. And there was an article written by one of them who was uh, acute, said that uh, the that I'm talking about a lot of hot air because Ron Sims is a lot of hot air and I never forgot that. And I have kept that uh, on my phone because I, it was a difficult time. I didn't want to be anybody's champion. And there was a person who I went to for counsel quite a bit. His name was Jim Ellis. So I look at Jim Ellis and I remember the last time we were together was on a waste treatment system the most sophisticated in the United States that would produce fresh water for the Puget Sound. It would be so clean and augment some of our streams. And I remember all of the tension I went through and the lawsuits and the name calling and the threats that I received, uh, the need for me to have uh, uh, double my security in order because of the number of threats that came in. But I'll never forget him standing here and saying, you know, it's never easy. But years from now, people will just accept this and its beauty and never know the fight. And he says, 
So that is the price that you're going to pay. You will know it. But it will be beautiful, won't it? And the water will be fresh, won't it? And I said yes, and he says, and then it was worth it. And I'll never forget him saying that, it's worth it. But more than anything, I receive encouragement from my family, particularly my father and mother who had the same issues in the civil rights movement where they were beat up all the time. And I remember when I got older, when I was doing part civil rights issues and my father saying to me, but you were born for this. And so all of a sudden I'm doing environmental work. And people think, well, environmental work is painless. And by what you achieve is extraordinarily beautiful. The path there isn't always easy. But I don't regret one second of it. I made a promise to my sons that their children's lives would be better than mine. You know, my great-grandchildren, who I will not see, uh, one day maybe will be standing here and they'll look at the view. They will not remember who got this view, but they will certainly be happy that uh, their generation has it. Peace and prosperity to all of you. Great wishes. I saw the award. I told my wife, look it. I remember this award. I remember this award. And uh, she said, how do you feel? I said, I won't cry in front of you. It was such a high price. It was worth every second of it. And I'm glad to receive the honor. And I'm glad of those who considered who should have it and made a decision that I was worthy of the award. I want to thank them.